I want to thank the ICS committee for allowing us to present our data on long-term recharging experience in patients utilizing the Exonix sacral neurolot modulation system. These are my disclosures. The Exonix sacral neuromodulation system is the first rechargeable sacral neuromodulation system designed to provide a minimum of ther therapy of 15 years in the body. Rechargeable sacral neuromodulation systems could significantly reduce replacement surgeries and lower healthcare costs associated with battery depletions in non-rechargeable systems. The Artisan study was designed to evaluate the efficacy of the Exonix rechargeable system in patients with urgency and continence. Patients reported recharging trends over 18-month horizon are presented here. Briefly, the Artisan study was a prospective single-arm pivotal study with 129 patients with urge incontinence. They all had to have at least four episodes of urge incontinence on a three-day diary, and at least 50% of those incontinence episodes had to be associated with urgency. They also had to at least have one incontinence episode per day and have symptoms for a minimum of six months. The Patients with mixed incontinence that were primarily stressed or those with mechanical urinary tract obstruction or those with underlying neurologic conditions were excluded. The procedure was a single non-stage procedure that uh, primarily placed the lead at S3. With regard to study progression, we implanted 129 patients and at 18 months 123 remained in the study. A completer's analysis was performed in subjects who were available for follow-up. To report the recharge duration per week, we calculated the recharge duration divided by the number of days between recharge times 7. We looked at a correlation between recharge duration and patient demographics such as age, BMI, condition severity, and prior use of third-line therapies. The majority of the patients participated in this study were female with an average age of 59 and a BMI of 32. Their urgent continence episodes were about 5.6 per day on average, and the average amplitude settings was about 1.58 for stimulation. We assessed the relative stability of recharging behavior. We compared the change in recharge duration from one month to 18 months. In the first figure, you see the recharge duration was stable over time with very little variation in the change of duration out to 18 months. In the second figure, you see that 80% of the subjects maintained a stable charge duration within 10 minutes out from one month out to 18 months and only 20% having to have a longer than 10 minute uh, interval change. Overall, these results show stable recharging duration with no, cli no decline in the charge capacity of the INS. We collect the data on patient satisfaction on the recharging experience. This slide demonstrates that the outcome with charging experience was maintained from three months all the way out to 18 months and 93% state that it was acceptable at uh, 18 months. We also saw that patients were highly satisfied with the recharging system with 94% reporting being satisfied with the therapy and 93% saying that they would go undergo the therapy again. We examined the correlation between demographics and clinical factors and recharge duration. There was no correlation between clinical factors or demographic factors. Additionally, patients that had had prior third-line therapy were also not correlated with recharge duration. When we compared patients older than 65 to younger than 65, there was no difference in the charging duration or satisfaction between these participants. In conclusion, we found that recharge duration was consistent throughout the study. Patients reported recharging to be easy and acceptable, and there was high patient satisfaction in our study. Clinical factors were not correlated with recharge duration, and this suggests that this would be widely applicable to, to our patient population. 
I'd like to thank my co-investigators and I'm happy to answer any questions.